They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them.
together in the beginning. Keeping together is a promise. Working together is a success. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great privilege to be here today with friends from the Burma Campaign Society and representatives of British Burma veterans. Thank you. 
caused to our societies. The work of promoting the work of the work of promoting peace and reconciliation important than ever as we witness today the dreadful events in Ukraine, in Sudan. Israel and beyond. The process of reconciliation is a long journey. Governments have their parts to play. But for those directly affected by conflict, forgiveness and reconciliation is a deeply personal thing. And I can only begin to imagine how much strength and generosity of spirit it takes. Organizations like the Burma Campaign Society have played a critical role to support this process, to create opportunities to increase understanding between our people and to share stories. I'm deeply grateful to them and to others who have helped to rebuild the trust, friendship and shared values that underpin our nation's ever closer relationship today. Thank you. ニチェリオコフのマカイトミュージオンソクシンするために人力してきたこのような方々に新人よりご敬意を表します。ありがとうございました。さあ、続きまして、中日流事ランド全面大使ハミシネルフランシスクーパーが対応を行っております。さあ
け、ユニフィラント人となったりというケースもあります。あの大使の自分のご親族でも、あの戦闘機のパイロットとして、ビルまで戦い、そしてあの帰国した、そのような方もいらっしゃいます。今作戦協会が促進しているシルバカイトバカイトそこからカイト協力の精神にニュージーランド人も深く共感しております。It is so important that not only governments of the countries participating in the conflict in the Pacific War, but also civil groups and individuals remain committed to preserving the memory of those who lost their lives and to the efforts to promote reconciliation even several decades after the war had ended.
as a former ambassador, these are my words of reconciliation for the past. So the I would like to show my deepest condolences and my deepest sadness for those who gave up their entire lifetimes for today.
to transcend past animosities and join hands in reconciliation, remembrance, and hope for a peaceful future. We are here to commemorate those who fought together or who fought against one another during the Burma campaign of the Second World War. On a personal note, I am very proud to stand here and speak today, inheriting the spirit of my great great aunt who worked as a nurse in the Battle of Impa, and my great grandfather who died in battle at the age of 27 during the Miyaka Island Battle in Okinawa. We cannot overstate the magnitude of the sacrifice of those who went to the battlefield. Time alone cannot fully heal the scars of war. However, by coming together in unity and reconciliation, regardless of the past allegiances, we offer the highest form of tribute to those who gave their lives in this struggle. We hope that today's gathering will serve as a guiding light on the path to peace for future generations. Thank you for your time and for sharing in this solemn occasion. Thank you.
で世界中には存続のボタンとしては目感じたということですそもそも第15軍司令官は無茶ばかり言っていたというふうに申しておりましたこうした環境で育った私にとって戦争は家族からではなく文献や連合国収容所の元日本兵の武勇者だった方のお話でありますそしてキリスト民謡の方が表した連合軍側の戦士そのようなところからの情報でしたこうした中で戦時中の捕虜虐待動けなくなった自国軍兵士の処分など暗い面もすることができましたですので祖先が戦争で生き残ってくれてよかったという思いと同時に戦没した人々や戦争で苦しんだ人々がいるという思いも抱えております戦争で敵対した兵士敵の国民に対する自粛があるというのではなく戦争を引き起こすこと自体への反感が湧いてくるのでございますただしこれは私個人の立場であって日本と戦ったイギリスそのドミニオンの兵士の方々その家族の方々がどのように日本や日本軍兵士日本国民を持っているのかという不満はいつもございますまた戦争では敵を憎み自分が正しいと信じて殺し合い奪い合う経験を積み重ねる場合もあるわけですから戦った相手に対する憎しみが自分が苦しんだ感情そのようなものが人に伝えるという過去も忘れることはできませんですから戦争とその経験を重んじ自らの誇りとして感じる一方で相手に対する敵意や警律を覚えられることがあるかもしれませんしかしあの戦争から80年近くが経過しようとする現在過去の憎しみや不安を乗り越えて当時の敵味方が今の思いを伝え合うことが求められておりますこのような対話を通して互いに歩み寄りよりよく未来を築きたいとの動きが強まっていることを私は心から歓迎したしたいと思います特にイギリスの退役された軍人の方々あるいは現在サービスを続けている方々がこの活動に加わりそれにイギリスニュージーランドオーストラリアなどドミニオンで潜んだ方も続いてくださり日本の戦争体験者とその人も合流しようというのであれば私も家族もぜひそこに加わらせていただきたく存じますそして双方の友好関係が次の世代に引き継いでいかれることを心から願っておりますご清聴ありがとうございます My name is Yukihiro Torigai and I would like to begin by giving you a brief personal history of my grandfather, Tsuneo Torigai, who participated in Operation i n p o l My grandfather, Tsuneo Torigai, had two, two sons and four daughters. The eldest of the siblings was Kiiji, and I am Kiiji's son. Tsuneo was born on January 13, 1895. After graduating from the Imperial Japanese Army Academy and the Army War College, he served as an educator of Japanese university graduates who were responsible for the administration of the Chinese occupation in Nazi China in 1941. In early 1943, he became a colonel and commander of the 138th Infantry Division. Under Lieutenant General Kotok Sato of the 31st Division. In early 1944, the preparations for the invasion of India, Operation i n f o r began in early with three divisions of the 5th Army under the command of Lieutenant General Lenya Mutaguchi. Despite an attack by the British. To prevent the Japanese invasion. The 5th Army pressed ahead with the i m p o r t operation, and under the command of Major General Shige, Shigesaturo Miyazaki, commander of the 31st Infantry Group, Tsuneo led the 138th Regiment of the Naka Central Advance Corps to cut off supply routes in. India, Timopo, and Kohima. Also, I'm not talking about my grandfather's story. 
He never told me about his experience in the 138th Regiment. Even though I often visited my grandfather as a children, I never inquired him about the war. And he never talked about it himself. He also reminded me that it was a child's responsibility to study hard in school. Over time, he was unable to talk about his war experiences. He no longer remembered about the past. My father used to hear directly from his father about the war, such as Operation Evil, but none of the stories were heroic. My grandfather talked to my father about the supplies that did not reach the troops, and they exhausted the misery of the soldiers while they were looted out. According to my father, his father said that even the bottom of his uniform felt heavy during the retreat. My grandfather also mentioned that the commander of the 5th Army was always liquid. Growing up in such an environment, I learned about the war not from my family, but from literature and stories from former Japanese injury in Allied camps, as well as from information from the former British and Dominican soldiers. With the help of these sources, I was able to learn about the dark side of the war, such as the abuse of, of prisoners of war and the mistreatment of those who could not live. Therefore, I am glad that my ancestors survived the war, but at the same time, I have also felt empathy towards those who died in the world war and suffered as a result of the war. It is not that I have heard it toward to towards the soldier who fought out against the enemy in the war, or towards the citizen in countries that used to be enemies. Rather, I have an answer towards the causes trigger the war. What I mentioned earlier in my personal point of view, and I would like to value how the British and Dominican soldiers who fought against Japan and their families view Japan, Japan soldiers and the Japanese people. In words, there may be circumstances in which soldiers naturally hurt it towards the enemy. Therefore, while the veterans may be proud of their accomplishment during the war, they may have also felt hostility and contempt towards the enemy. It is understandable if such complex feeling towards the enemy and inherited by future generations. However, now the nearly 80, 80 years have passed since the World War. There is a need to overcome the hurts and discord of the past. I believe this is a great opportunity to break down the barriers between enemies and allies and to cover their thoughts, emotions, and feelings to such as each other. I sincerely appreciate the decent effort to foster dialogue between each side to better understand each other and together build a better future. I would like to particularly thank the retired British servicemen for taking the lead in this effort along with their families. And Japanese war veterans and their distant for journey them. My family and I would be delighted to be part of the dialogue. I hope that the friendship between our two countries will be passed on to the next generation from the bottom of my heart. Thank you very much for your kind attention.
、広報機関の一員であるジェームズ・オーグル会社よりお言葉を伺います。あ、このやこのやこの。I have a letter here from the Viscount Slim, Chairman of Trustees of the Burma Star Memorial Fund, and the grandson of General Bill Slim, who led the 14th Army in the Burma Campaign.
ために同盟を続けています。過去の違いを乗り越えて、共に未来へ突き進むことの重要性を感じます。この慰霊祭に参加されている皆様へ、最高の感謝の気持ちをお送りいたします。Our thanks and best wishes to everyone involved in this commendable visit.
involved uh, in uh, attempting to achieve reconciliation with the former belligerent powers. And therefore, for that reason, I'm very pleased to be here today with all of you uh, and to, to be taking part in this service of respect, honor, reconciliation, and remembrance. And I hope this will be the first of many other such events where uh, the nations of the British Commonwealth, of Britain and Japan can get together now as friends and allies for the future. And so it's a great honor and privilege for me to be here and to represent, among others, the UK guests. And I thank you very much for inviting us and for allowing us to participate in this significant event. え、この度、あの、この訪問団の一員として日本に来て、またこれらの、あの、催しを行うために努力してくださった方々に、新人なる感謝を捧げます。ありがとう。Mr. Mr. Excuse me, Mr. Masahiro Ishida, member of the House of Councillors. Yeah.
ジャパンパゴダと言われている仏塔に祈りを捧げるためです。In Myanmar, in Myanmar, I'm familiar with a local group called Chapa. That's correct.、Um, and with these people, I pray、uh, and I hope for Japan power. さっきの対戦でこの地域は日本軍とイギリス軍の激戦地となりました圧倒的に形勢が不利の日本軍はこの地域を死をとしましたが力は去らず険しいアラカン山脈に逃げ込み銃弾だけではなく上病そして虎などの猛獣に襲われ多くの人が命を失いました In Myanmar during the Myanmar campaign, while the British and the, and the Japanese clashed, the Japanese, were in, the Japanese soldiers were subjected to terrible conditions and lost their lives not only to bullets, but to disease, hunger, and even wildlife like tigers. So, in the case of the British, the British were in the case of the British. 日本人の通訳を務めていた地元のミャンマー人の一人が戦後このジャパンパゴダを購入し今は娘さんが引き継いでこのパゴダを守っています。There was the, the descendant of one of the Myanmar, one of the, people, one of the native people of Myanmar who helped translate between the Japanese and the native people of Myanmar. Is now a part of my organization, and、uh, their daughter is still with us today. Further and further deepen. 